Chapter 7 of Sex This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ashwin Jain Sex by Henry Stanton Chapter 7 Sex in the Marriage Relation The Husband Marriage is a process by which a man and woman enter into a complete physical, legal, and moral union. The natural object of marriage is a complete community of life with the establishment of a family. The Marriageable Age and Adaptation At 24, the male body attains its complete development, and 25 is a proper age for the young man to marry. Romantic love personal affection on a basis of congeniality, mutual adaptation, a similar social sphere of life should determine his choice. Nature and custom indicate that the husband should be somewhat older than the wife. Men who should not marry Men suffering with diseases which may be communicated by contagion or heredity should not marry. These diseases include tuberculosis, syphilis, cancer, leprosy, epilepsy, and some nervous disorders, some skin diseases, and insanity. A worn-out rake has no business to marry, since marriage is not a hospital for the treatment of disease or a reformatory institution for moral lepers. Those having a marked tendency to disease must not marry those of similar tendency. The marriage of cousins is not to be advocated. The blood relation tends to bring together persons with similar morbid tendencies. Where both are healthy, however, there seems to be no special liability to mental incompetency, though such marriages are accused of producing defective or aided children. Men suffering from congenial defects should not marry. Natural blindness, deafness, muteness, and congenital deformities of the limb are more or less likely to be passed on to the children. There are cases of natural blindness, though, to which this rule does not apply. Criminals, alcoholics, and persons disproportionate in size should not marry. In the last mentioned, Lack of mutual physical adaptability may produce much unhappiness, especially on the part of the wife. Serious local disease, sterility, and great risk in childbirth may result. Disparity of years, disparity of race, a poverty which will not permit the proper raising of children, undesirable moral character are all good reasons for not marrying. Medical examination before marriage Medical examination as a preliminary to marriage is particularly more valuable than a marriage license. Since many entirely innocent young girls today suffer from disease incurred either through hereditary or accidental infection, a would-be husband may be said to be quite as much entitled to protection as his bride-to-be. Prohibitive physical defects are also discovered in this connection. End of chapter 7 Recording by Ashwin Jain